Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s, and this is going to be kind of a long video because this is a, a haul, and it's kind of a lengthy haul. Um, this is stuff that I picked up from Ulta. This is stuff I picked up from TJ Maxx. Um, I did a little bit of ordering from BH Cosmetics and also from White Barn and Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in because, like I said, it is pretty lengthy. <laughs> so. Um, oh yeah, guys, also my hair has kind of got a mind of its own today. It's air drying. I'm still doing the no heat thing and um, just had it colored. Well, I just had my roots colored so you can still see my little color right there on my head. <laughs> it's really hard when you have black hair and you're trying to cover gray. It's really, really hard to not get it all over your head, right? Anyways, just bear with me. Anyways, Enough rambling, and now we're moving on. I'm going to start with the stuff that I ordered from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to get that stuff out of the way. So I ordered a couple of brush sets from BH Cosmetics. I got the um, Eye Essential 7-piece set, this guy right here, and then I also picked up the Sculpt and Blend 10-piece brush set, which is this guy right here. And, you know, I've used them some. Um, I've not used all of them. I've used them some, and so far... From what I've used, I really like them. Um, they are synthetic bristles. Hold on, let me get them here. They are synthetic bristles, and they are really, really, really soft. Here's a couple of the face brushes here. Okay, really, really soft brushes. I've tried using them with liquid foundation. I've used them with powder. Um, I've used this one. This one's a little too soft for liquid foundation, but works great with powder. Uh, the eye brushes are really, really, really nice, and mine, like I said, are dirty because I use this guy for concealer under my eyes, I use this guy for primer on my eyes, and then you've got several, not several, but a couple of fluffy brushes, so like I will use, like this guy is my blending brush, which I love him. I use him in the crease, he's kind of an angled brush here. I use him sometimes in the crease and him under my lower lash line. And I'm really, really liking these brushes. So I'm really, really so far happy with picking these guys up. So they were very, very inexpensive being from BH Cosmetics. So I paid like $9 for each kit. All right, so the next thing I picked up from BH Cosmetics when I placed my order was some lippies. I noticed they had some new liquid lipsticks on their site, so I wanted to try them out. I'm not a, the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks, but, you know, if I find a nice one that feels comfortable on the lips, then, you know, then great. It's not easy to find one that feels comfortable on the lips. I do have a few, but I'm hoping these will fall kind of along with that. So these are the liquid lipsticks from BH Cosmetics right here. These are called the Lux Lacquer Vivid Color Lipsticks. And the colors I have are Pink Champagne. Let me go ahead and swatch this guy for you. And they do have that very, almost, it's a moussey texture, but it's kind of thick at the same time. Okay, so that's pink champagne. And then strawberry is a little bit of a darker toned pink. Wouldn't say a little bit. He's a lot of a darker toned pink, actually. Okay, and that's him right there. And then this guy here, this is black currant, and he's kind of a dark berry. Yes, that is me stepping outside my comfort zone with the dark colors, because that's just not normally me, and that one is pretty freaking dark. Okay. So I am actually excited to really try these. I haven't given them a shot yet, so I can't tell you if they're really good or if they have great lasting power or if they dry down and feel uncomfortable. I don't know, because I haven't used them on the lips yet. But I'm thinking about actually doing just a separate review on these. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I'd be happy to do that for you. And they have no snail. Snail? They have no snail. They have no smell. So that's a plus. Okay, so that was everything from BH Cosmetics. Let me jump into just really quick Walmart. I got one thing from Walmart. Not that big of a deal. Um, I wanted to try the new Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer that everybody has just been raving about. And I got the one in the color light. Okay, it looks like this. I know it's shiny, I'm so sorry guys. You pop it open, you have your beautiful bronzer in here, which I have been using every single day just about. It smells like coconut oil, it smells so good. Um, and what I really like about this one, oh and it has a little sponge. I try to use this little guy as you can see. It's not the, grace, the greatest uh, product placement, but 
yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, the light shade, I bought, I got the light shade because I was too afraid that the dark shade was going to be too dark and a little too orangey for me. And this one, yes, it's very light, but when I put him on my skin and dust him on with a brush, it just gives my skin, and you're not going to be able to see that, but it just gives my skin just kind of a gorgeous all over glow. And I just love it. So I am really, really happy I got this guy. Let's do Ulta. I want to do Ulta next. All right, so the first thing I picked up from Ulta was from Soap and Glory. This is called the Perfect 10 Limited Edition 10 Shade Eyeshadow Palette. Looks like this. I am wearing this one today, and it's okay. Um, it's not bad by any means. I mean, it's not like a horrible palette, but there's only two mattes in the entire palette. When you open it up, you have a big mirror here. It's got the cardboard with the magnetic closure, by the way. Um, but it's only got two mattes. So this one here that's called Nude Comer, and then you've got Toasty. So these two right here are your only two mattes in the palette. The rest are really satiny and shimmery, which, I mean, some people really like a full shimmer, a full-on shimmer look. I have to have some mattes to be able to use in my crease or maybe in my outer V because I have hooded lids. So I want to use mattes on my eyes. They don't all have to be mattes, but I do like using the matte shades. That being said, though, these colors are very, very gorgeous. Let me swatch them for you here. We'll start with the lighter guys. So here's the first five right here. So I don't know how well you guys can actually see it, but the first color is Moon Mist. Then right next to that, which is almost my skin color, is called Minky. And then you have Nude Comer, or Nude Comer. I'm not sure how you want to pronounce that. It's kind of a mauve nude color. And then you have Chopper, which is kind of a bronzy, shimmery color. And then you have Toasty, which is kind of a brownish, mauve little bit deeper matte shade. So that's the first five here. All right, and here's the second five. So this first one here is called Damsel. And then we have Cream Soda. And then we have Chalky, C-H-O-C-C-Y, Chalky. And then we have Plumptious which is, where is it at, this guy right here. And then we have Smolder, which is this guy right here. And, you know, like I said, they're not bad shadows. They are extremely powdery. Um, I did really have to pack my brush up a little bit to get the colors to show on my lids. But uh, surprisingly enough, I had, I didn't really have much fallout. So, I mean, it's not a bad palette at all. <sighs> what did I spend on this? It was either 12 or $14, I don't remember. But yeah, it's not a bad palette at all. It's, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's definitely workable, and I'll definitely get some use out of it. And I'm dropping everything. All right, the next palette I picked up from Ulta is the Makeup Revolution palette, and this is the Neutrals versus Neutrals, this guy here. And when you pop him open, and he's kind of hard to get open, there we go has a little sheet on the top that tells you what all the colors are and here are all your colors big giant mirror I'm really trying not to blind you guys oh it does come with a pretty decent brush I haven't used it yet but it does look and feel you know pretty like it's going to be pretty decent it's a double-ended brush here this guy was 15 he was either 10 or 15 I don't remember but the colors in him are gorgeous I haven't worn him yet but I am absolutely dying to wear him. Um, I'm not gonna swatch all of them, but let me just do a couple here, since I haven't worn any of these guys yet. Um, some of the colors, though, that are in here remind me a lot of um, the Too Faced Peach Palette, the Sweet Peach Palette, which I have that palette, and I love that palette. I don't get a whole lot of wear out of it, though, because there's other palettes that I'm constantly trying, and um, but it's got some gorgeous colors in it. All right, so here's just a few of the shades that are in that palette. And I'm just, I'm really excited to give this one a go. And the shades feel really soft, really comfortable. So, yeah. I've had a couple of other Makeup Revolution palettes in the past that I was really happy with. So, I don't expect this one to be any different, except for the colors are just really, really pretty. So, yeah. All right, and then also at Ulta, another eyeshadow palette I picked up. Man, I went nuts on the palettes, didn't I? I'm just now realizing I have gone absolutely nuts on eyeshadow palettes because I have a, a lot of them here. 
Um, the next palette I picked up from Ulta is the Lorac Pro 1. I've already had the 2 and the 3. The 2 I've had for a long time and love, and it's been one of my all-time favorite palettes. The 3 is okay. Um, the 1, this one though, because after I tried the, the 2 and I loved it and the 3 was just kind of okay, I wanted to get the 1. Nice, nice palette. This one is just as good as the two that is my all-time favorite. The only difference is, is this one's a little bit warmer and the two is a little bit cooler, but this is a brilliant palette. I just absolutely love this. The colors are soft, creamy, blendable. I mean, I have absolutely no issues, no qualms with any color in this entire palette. And I love the fact that you have a whole row of completely matte, and then a whole row of completely shimmer. So you can basically, you have your choice. If you want to go matte one day, you can. If you want to go shimmer one day, you can. If you want to mix it up, go for it. It's great. So yeah. All right, so those are the eyeshadow palettes that I picked up from Ulta. Now still on Ulta here, I also picked up a Benefit Erased Paste in number two medium, this guy here. I've never tried Erased Paste before, so I've just started using him. And you know, so far I really like him. I, I use this. I also use the one by Pixie, the Brightening Peach, which is really nice and I really like that one as well. But the Brightening Peach I think has a little bit more of a pinky tone than this one. This one's a little more peach, but this one is a little more creamy. So there is that. All right, and then I also picked up, I don't remember if I've showed this to you guys or not. I don't think I've done it in a haul, but I have worn it several times in videos. So I'm including it in this haul. This is the new Bare Minerals line called the Gen, Gen Nude line. And I found this liquid lipstick in the color Juju. Now, earlier in the video, I said it's very, very hard to find a liquid lipstick that feels comfortable on the lips, that doesn't feel overly drying, that's, and they're really difficult to find. This is one of them that is amazing. This I have worn, like I said, several times. It does dry down matte, but it's not at all uncomfortable. Looks like that. It's not at all uncomfortable. It lasts for hours upon hours. I mean, it is, it is a wonderful product. I am really enjoying this new Bare Minerals Gen Nude line. They have not only liquid lipsticks, but they also have the Gen Nude glosses, and they have Gen Nude regular lipsticks as well. And they all fall along the lines of being that nude lip. So you have pinky nudes, you have brownie nudes. I mean, you just, they're just beautiful. They're all just beautiful, really. All right, also at Ulta, I picked up two Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. Now, I have never tried any of the Anastasia lip products before. I'm wearing the, one of the lip glosses today. I'm wearing the one in Penny. Let me pull him out of the package. And guys, I gotta tell you, I am loving these. Yeah. I mean, these are opaque. They last a long time. I've had this guy on through three different videos that I filmed today. I mean, it's... Yeah, the, and I've, I've drank tea in between, and these things last forever, and they're not sticky. They've got a good grip to the lips, but they are not at all sticky. I'm wearing this one today. This one's Penny. Let me go ahead and swatch them on the back of my hand. So freaking comfortable. Look at that. I'm going to put some more on. It has a really nice, fresh vanilla scent loving. And then the other one I picked up, this one is in the color Metallic Rose, and this one does have shimmer in it. I haven't worn this one on the lips yet, so I don't know if I'm going to feel that shimmer on the lips or not. It looks like this. He's kind of a rosy color, and he's going to have, I don't know if you guys can see the metallic glitter in there, but let me go ahead and swatch him. And he is just absolutely gorgeous as well. And I know I hear people all the time, this is it right here, it's just gorgeous. I hear people all the time telling me, or people will come up and tell me, or, you know, I, I hear it from people that do makeup for a living, that, you know, when you're in your 40s or when you're a little bit older, that you shouldn't wear a whole lot of shimmer, and you shouldn't wear shimmer on your lips. But honestly, guys, there's some shimmer lip glosses that I wear that make my lips look really full. Not that I'm trying to look like a kid and I'm trying to wear glitter, that's not the case. But the really fine, fine glitters and a lot of the lips, lip glosses that I like make my lips look juicy and fuller, which is why I like them. So I have a feeling this is going to be one of those 
types of glosses that just makes my lips look full and, and just plump and yeah, so I am excited to actually wear that one. Um, and like I said, so far these have been really good. I love the feel, I love the smell. Um, they last quite a while, so yeah, really happy with those. All right, also from Ulta, I'm, I'm down to two things, actually three things from Ulta. Also from Ulta, I picked up a Benefit Highbrow. This guy right here, I am wearing it today. I have worn it several times, and I am very, very happy with this guy. He is very, very creamy, very emollient, blends out very nicely. I'll put him right here underneath my eyebrow, just like from the arch to the tail, and sometimes I'll put him in the inner corners and he just really seems to brighten everything up and I really like him. And I also picked up another Urban Decay 24-7 water liner. I have been really impressed with these water liners. I have the Walk of Shame, which is the nude one, and I've been wearing it and loving it and have had no issues with it in my contact lenses. So I went ahead and I picked up this one in Legend, which is the black one. And I have worn it a couple of times and it does really well with my contact lenses. And it stays in the water line for me for quite some time which is really, really good. It doesn't smudge and smear on me. So, so far I'm really, really happy with this guy. And the last thing from Ulta. Because I picked up the Soap and Glory, the Perfect 10 eyeshadow palette, Ulta threw in a little sample of um, the Pillow Plump XXL, this guy right here, which is just a plumping lip gloss. I have tried to use him. He is gorgeous. I mean, don't get me wrong, he is gorgeous. He does make my lips look plump and full, but and he kind of smells like chocolate mint, but he stings. Um, some people don't mind that stingy sensation on the lips, but he really kind of stings. I, I, it's not painful. No, it's, uh, it's not painful at all. It's just kind of irritating, bothersome, if that makes sense, and I just don't like it. So I'll probably give this away to somebody who will... Um, a good use out of it because I don't like the stinginess. So we've got Ulta out of the way. Let's move on to the Bath and Body Works and White Barn. All right, so grab the bag here. They just opened in my area a Bath and Body Works with a White Barn together in the same store, which was kind of nice. So I stopped by there. I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get a couple of things. And from the Bath and Body Works side, I picked up this Honolulu Sun, which is a beach glow gel lotion. It looks like this here. And let me kind of give you guys a little, it's not a self tanner by any means, but what it does is it gives you, you guys see it? It gives you a really, really nice glow to the skin. And it smells so, so good. So yeah, it kind of gives you just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of color and a little bit of glow. Very, very nice, very moisturizing feeling. It does have glitter. Can you guys see the glitter? But the glitter is actually what gives you the glow. And I love using this stuff on my legs. If I've got a really good self tan going on right after I've shaved and gotten out of the shower and my legs are really soft, I'll put this on to give them that glow. And it's just good stuff. All right, then also from White Barn Bath & Body Works, I picked up a candle. This is a Seaside Gardenia. This guy right here smells so freaking good. This is one of the three wick candles, and I'm kind of getting a watermelony gardenia kind of smell. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but it smells so freaking good. And I mean, I've got um, another Bath & Body Works candle already that I'm using up right now. It's burning in the background. It's called Suntan. It makes my room smell like suntan lotion. It just smells amazing. Marshmallow Fireside is a cult favorite. I burn that around every Christmas time. So I just, I love my three wick candles from Bath and Body Works. Moving on to TJ Maxx. Guys, I told you this was a long video. Should I chop this? No, I'm not going to chop it up. I'm not going to chop it up. All right, moving on to TJ Maxx. First thing is a non-makeup item, but I do use it in my makeup room, and it is the thing that I am holding my BH Cosmetics brushes in. It's my big old coffee mug. It says, Hello Gorgeous, and I keep him back there on my bookshelf, so when I'm doing my makeup, I can just reach up and grab him and pull him down onto my makeup vanity. So I really like him. He's pretty cool. All right. I... Where shall I start? Let me start with the eyeshadow palette I picked up. So I was really, really surprised. Actually, I'm gonna start with the, let me back up. 
Let me start with the really, really cheap products that I picked up. And there's only like two of them. <laughs> and I picked up a couple of the Profusion uh, eyeshadow quads. And I have had Profusion shadows in the past and they were surprisingly not that bad. Um, these, these are called the Profusion Pro quads. Look at that. This is an all matte quad right here. He's just, he's beautiful. I haven't worn him yet, so I cannot tell you guys, I can tell by swatching he's a little powdery, um, so I cannot tell you guys how he's going to wear, but oh my god, I mean, this all matte one just feels freaking amazing. And then I've got this one here, which has got three mattes, and it looks like one satiny one right there. And let me swatch him for you, because he feels amazing too. And that's this one right here. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember the names of these two um, Profusion palettes because they don't put them on the back. So I'm going to have to do a little research and see if I can figure out what the names of these guys are. Now, like I said, I haven't tried them on the lids yet, but I'm excited to try them because they feel really nice when I swatch them. And you never know, this might end up being like one of those hidden gems that you find at the drugstore that you would never expect to be good and just on a whim you just ran into it and wow, it's amazing. We'll see. Or that's as far as the cheap, cheap stuff from TJ Maxx goes because these were only $1.99 each, so really inexpensive. All right, next, moving on to, which I was really surprised to find all of these at TJ Maxx, um, a Too Faced palette, another eyeshadow palette. I picked up the Too Faced Love palette, this guy right here. He was $16 at TJ Maxx, so I jumped on him, and he comes with, this is one of the Too Faced palettes I don't have. He's a very sturdy packaging, big mirror on the top. You've got your little cards right here on the side that show you the different looks that you can do with this palette. It comes with a full-sized eyeliner. It's a black eyeliner with a smudger. And then you've got your shadows. Now, all of the shadows in this palette, well, with the exception of one, two, all of the shadows in the, this palette, with the exception of two, are shimmery. Um, I haven't used it yet on the eyes, but I will. I'm really excited to try him. I mean, they feel pretty soft. Let's see. Ooh, look at that green. Right? They feel pretty soft. They look pretty when I swatch them. So, here they are right there. I don't know if you guys can see them. I've got so many other swatches going on in my hand, you probably can't see them. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't tried him yet, but I'm excited to try him and to pick him up for as cheap as I did. I mean, freaking awesome, right? All right, so that's the Too Faced Love Eyeshadow Palette. All right, so the next thing I picked up from TJ Maxx were three Butter London Glosses. I picked these guys up for $3.99 each. They look like this. And let's swatch these guys out. This one is called Coconut Frock. And they're very sheer, and they have the brush. These are not doe foot applicators. These are brush applicators on these. Okay, so Coconut Frock, very sheer. You can't even really see him. Then we've got Tiddly, I want to say. He's kind of a peachy color, a little bit more pigmented than the Coconut Frock. And again, with the same brush style, it's not a doe foot. Okay, very peachy. And then the last one is called Hot Toddy, and he is more of a pinky nude color, maybe a mauve nude color. And he is more opaque out of the bunch of them. Right there. Okay, very pretty. Now, what I have discovered with these Butter London glosses is they are sticky. So if you're not into the sticky feeling, you might not like these. These are the kind that, when I tried to wear them, my hair would get stuck in them, and I freaking hate that. My hair would get stuck in them, and then I'd get little lip gloss streaks across my cheeks. Don't like it. But, I mean, I'm not really, even though I don't like them, for $3.99, no big deal. I'll give them to somebody who will wear them. Anyways, all right, so next I picked up two NARS lip glosses. These guys here, I picked these up for $5 at TJ Maxx. Okay, NARS glosses. I got um, the colors... I gotta read them from the box because I can't see them on the bottom of the tube. I have the color Chihuahua and the color Orgasm. So this one is Chihuahua, this one is Orgasm, and the 
Chihuahua one is more of a mauvey pink. Now both of these are very, very sheer. And I already know that I love NARS glosses. Okay, that one is Chihuahua. One of my favorite glosses that I wear from NARS is Chelsea Girls, and I just love it. And then this Orgasm one is more of a peachy tone. It's kind of a peachy tone with a gold shift. He has a little bit of shimmer in him. Okay, gorgeous. So to find these NARS lip glosses for five bucks, I was all about it. I also found another thing from NARS that I picked up at TJ Maxx, and this was also five dollars. This is the blush in Super Orgasm, this guy here. He is very, very glittery. Um, this is not one that I would suggest wearing during the day, but he is gorgeous. If you're going out in the evening and maybe you're going to somewhere a little funky or whatever, I mean, he is a gorgeous color for that type of uh, evening out. If you don't mind getting a little bit of glitter fallout all over your face. All right, and then also the last thing I picked up at TJ Maxx is a Stila product. This is the uh, Stila Lip Gloss in Pink Sapphire. This is one of those, um, what do they call them? Almost duochrome kind of glosses, I want to say. He's very, very sheer. He has no color to him, but he has glitter in him. And the glitters are a blue and a pink. So he has kind of a shift to him when you look at him in different lights. I don't know if you guys can actually really see that. But this is it here, pink sapphire, and picked him up for $3.99, TJ Maxx. All right, guys, yes, this was a very long and tedious video, and I'm sorry I put you guys through it. Um, I'm going to try to edit it down a little bit so it's not this freaking long. I don't know. Maybe I'll cut some stuff out. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, anyways, yeah, that's, that's all of it. That's my huge haul. I've been collecting this stuff for a while, as you could probably tell. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this video somewhat entertaining. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below. You can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can look me up on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, all under Rock Fabulous 40s. And guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down there somewhere. And you too can rock your fabulous 40s, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.